come on, praise the Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. A prayer answering God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He heard the faintest cry. And he answered me by and by. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Prayer will turn in. Now we pray, Lord, that let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer, in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. You may be seated. Psalm 124 says, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who hath not given us a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowls. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Tell the Lord, thank you. Our help all of our help is in the name of the Lord. I thank God, amen, for this scripture. Thank God for all of you here today. Amen. Give honor to uh, Sister Bynes, amen, the devotional leader, amen. Uh, church mother, elder, Marcel, the Richardson, God bless you. And to all that are here today, amen. This scripture goes along with everything pertaining to what we're going through today. Amen. I was, you know, in prayer and I was thinking about it. Amen. We were due to preach yesterday, but um, Elder Hines, he canceled the service yesterday. Amen. So we're here today. And I thank God for that. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a burden. It's not easy to preach. Even although we enjoy it, but it's not easy because um, it's more than a physical. It's, you go through spiritual changes. Anybody who's a preacher knows what I'm talking about, the distractions and the attacks of the enemy. Hey Amen. You don't mind if I talk to you today? Let's talk. Amen. I, um, it seems like everything the enemy tried to do, amen, to distract us, amen, for on today. Amen. Uh, we thank God for God's word, how he sends his word. On this morning, they... I don't like leaving church. I don't like walking out and in. And I don't like doing that. And then a police officer came and they said, somebody called up and they complained. They dropped a pucker on the sidewalk. I said, wait a minute. I told the lady, nice lady, real nice officer. I said, uh, we got a, a city uh, resolution from the council from eight, about eight years ago to park up there. And it's really not a sidewalk. That's our property. Well, I called the sergeant and he said, if they don't move, put tickets on every car. I said, well, I said, I said well, that's still not right. She said, you, I said, when y'all service over? I said, about an hour. So she said, an hour, really? I said, well, it, it ends when it ends. Usually an hour. But anyway, she said, you gotta move. Just please, I don't want to have to ticket you. I said, okay. That's a distraction. Even though it's a little thing, it's a minor thing. But, you know, the enemy tries to distract, amen, the best way he can. Amen, so much so, amen, um, 
but we're yet here and we thank God. I was thinking, as I shared with you all on two weeks ago about my daughter, what happened to our daughter. Uh, I didn't share with you another part of it, and the Lord had to deliver me from it. Some people think because you're a preacher, you don't ever go through anything. They think you're Superman. I mean, we had a discussion some years ago about super saints. Right? Not right. Amen. But uh, he that liveth godly in Christ Jesus shall, you must suffer persecution. Amen. And you will go through some things. There's going to be time that you need somebody to minister to you. Amen. Even as an organist, after a while, you want to hear somebody else play. As a teacher, you want to hear somebody else teach. As a preacher, you want to hear somebody else preach. I don't even want to hear myself all the time. Thank you, Lord. Not that I'm, you know, I'm just saying, I need to, I need to be ministered to sometime. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Teachers, amen, even my mother's a teacher in North Brunswick, but once a year they got to go to the teacher convention to be, you know, refreshed and to be brought in, amen, to be shown teaching techniques to keep them sharp. Thank you, Lord. Driving down the stretch of highway where my daughter, uh, we had that unfortunate accident some weeks, a few weeks ago. Amen. I go that same way to go to work. And you can ask my son, we were driving down the highway a couple days after what happened. I said, man, it's hard for me to even drive on the highway. This is what I said. It's hard because I can't unsee what I saw. post-traumatic stress disorder. I've seen things and it affected me. It caused me, my heart to race and it would cause me to feel a little uneasy. You're saved. You got the Holy Ghost. Yeah. But, but you still have experienced some things. When that building exploded in my face in 2012, somewhere or back before that, 2010, that affected me because I was having nightmares for a while. You don't see those kind of things every day. That's what I'm trying to say. As a child of God, amen, uh, we need the Lord. Thank God after a while he delivered me from that explosion, the, the fear of explosions and the nightmares and stuff. But this thing driving down the highway bothered me, Elder Richard. It bothered me. Cause all I could hear is my, my wife's voice screaming. And one moment seeing my daughter, another minute not seeing her. All I would hear, pfft, I heard that in the blackness of the night. And seeing cars, you know. And here I am, I got to hold it together for everybody else. My family, my wife, my children. Uh, concerned about my daughter, but I needed to help myself. Thank God for the the man of God who recognized, and um, thank God for you all. You know, a poor leader is one that doesn't prepare the people to carry on if they're not there. As a poor leader. But thank God you were able to carry on, amen, when I wasn't here that one Sunday. Thank God for that preacher who was preaching, and when me and Samuel walked into the church, recognized in the Holy Ghost. Amen. And was able to discern. And able to pray for us. Amen. Uh, pray for us in the spirit. And realize and understand what was going on. Amen. Because there was oneness of spirit. After he prayed. I still had a problem. I was driving to work. And um, the Lord spoke to me. Now this can go for everybody. And I was getting to that part of the highway where Michaela jumped out. And my heart began to race. And I began to break out and sweat. It was wrong with me here. Come on. And I began the tears to well up. The Spirit of the Lord spoke. And the Lord told me, instead of being upset, or instead of 
getting like this for what actually happened just praise me for what could have happened and what didn't happen and it could have happened but it didn't happen praise me and when the Lord spoke to me and I activated that and I began to praise him that whole uh, that whole uncomfortable lifted and I haven't felt it since I couldn't have done it on my God had to do that because I in and of myself it, it was causing me to be a wreck and it was causing me to be but, but what I'm trying to say is our help is in the name of the Lord he made the heaven he made the earth we were like birds caught in the snare of a fowl, but the Bible says our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowl. The snare is broken and we are escaped. That is all because of God. We don't have within ourselves to deliver ourselves. We don't have within ourselves to save ourselves. We don't have within ourselves to even preach the word of God. If God don't do it, it cannot be done. If God don't save, my God, if God don't keep the city, the watchman watches in vain. Hallelujah. All of our help, all of our hope, all of our strength is in the name of the Lord who created the heavens and the earth. He made the heavens. He made the earth. He formed us. He fashioned us. He formed us from the dust of the earth. And he breathed into our nostrils the breath of life. The Bible says that a man became a living soul. God knows everything you're going through. God knows every station you're in. In every way that we are tempted, he was tempted like wine. So he was able to, my God, with our infirmities. He knows what you're going through. He knows what you're feeling. And he has an answer if you would just listen to what he's saying. Hallelujah. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of God is saying. Thank you, Lord. And God, the Spirit of God speaks expressly. He don't speak in great riddles. And some people say, well, God talked to me and you get tired of hearing people say, God talk to me here, and God talk to me there, and God talk to me here, and God talk to me there. But they can't quote one Bible scripture. But God talked to them more what than he talked to the Apostle Paul. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. But God don't speak like that. He says what he has to say and he's on his way. And he don't speak frivolously and in quizzlings and in my God in platitudes. He doesn't speak in empty words. When God gives instruction, it is for your benefit. Not only for your benefit, but for those around you. Because your obedience will not only affect you, but will affect everybody around you. Tell the Lord, thank you. By one man's disobedience, the entire humankind was affected. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. But by one man's obedience, the entire humankind was affected. There was a first man, Adam, but the second Adam, who is Jesus Christ, he suffered, bled, and died. He was obedient even to death, even the death of the cross. That's what the word of God says. And in him we live, in him we move, in him we have our being. Hallelujah, he is our savior. We are his sheep. We are the sheep of his pasture. We are the make of his hand. Thank you, Lord. That's why he says, enter into my gates with thanksgiving. Enter my courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. For the Lord is good. Can I get a witness? The Lord is good. Thank you, Lord. Don't get tied up and don't get messed around with what happened, but thank God for what could have happened. Thank God for what didn't happen. Hallelujah. For there are many that we grew up with, many in high school, many in the neighborhood, that have been called into judgment for doing less harm 
doing what we've done in our lives. But God has mercy on you. God has mercy on me. Thank you, Jesus. When death came creeping in your room and you were all by yourself, thank you, Jesus. God sent his word and rebuked the hand of death when we were deserving of the judgment of God. But God rebuked the hand of death. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And we ought to give God some praise. Tell him thank you. The scripture said, if it had not been, I don't care who else you got on your side. See, man will fail you. Horses and chariots will fail you. But God will never fail He said, I love
to it tight, y'all. I'm not holding on to the word. He's going to carry me through. Jesus will bring